Good afternoon, everyone. Afternoon. How are you this afternoon? Everyone here except Faro and uh, Russell. Raise hand if you hear me clearly. If my voice clear to you, please raise your little hand next. Ten only. Are this not around? Oh, so Sam also Solomon, please inform uh, Daniel uh, if miss both tutorial and and a practical. Ask them uh, apply leave. Yeah, no. If they have the notice issue by SASP, yeah, attached together as supported document. So mean eleven fifteen so four. Four not around one more student. Wong Yap how? Not around. Everyone still uh this is our week number five. Two more weeks finish semester. So fast, right? One semester. The end. Semester two. Which area are they staying? Uh? Same place, three of them. Where is uh, Daniel, Farrell and Pinampang area? And uh, Russell. Russell from uh, Kapayan, right? Yeah. How about Daniel and Farrell? Where are they staying, both of them? No power. Our activity today, first tutorial number six. Yeah, I uploaded the document to you. Please uh, place in your answer there so that we can discuss later on. They are, let me show you. Mm. Hang on. Let me present one more time my screen here. Haven't record meeting. How many of you done a tutorial six? Or how many questions have you done? Put me your numbers there. If you have done all four questions, then you uh, type four. If one, then type one. If two, then type two. One. One, three, A. One, two, three, some more. Everybody, if none, then put zero there. Some more other students, how many questions? Total, we have uh, four questions only. No response. Elwin three question, Ian three, this one, is it three? Oh, 
smiling face. What is this? Uh? Three. Uh? I went three. How about others? Give me a number. Zero also a number. Yes, yeah. Zero also a number, right? So, Shark, Zero, um, Nathan, Celine, Solomon, Lim, Lo Fei Feng, Wong Yap Hao. Mm, that's it. We, have, we only have a few students today. <laughs> <laughs> seldom, seldom see so many zero. One, two. Oh, yeah. All right, right, no worry. We look at here. Yeah, you cannot always be so stressed every time. Tutorial six, one, two, three, four. Our plan today, I will only discuss two questions. Another two will be uh, Friday. We still have another half, haven't covered yet. Chapter. Uh, the same chapter. So we reserve two questions. We uh, will only focus on question one and two. Let me brief you what you need to do question one and two. Refer to tutorial one, question number three. Two factors. The two factors should be uh, considered when carrying, carrying out software process improvement to the ordering system identify yeah please list out two if you can uh, do some uh, brief explanation yeah welcome yeah welcome always welcome but please don't leave it blank uh. everyone please try to answer your question don't just wait for the answer right we need to uh, uh, practice. We need to squeeze our brain weekly. I think question one will not be a big issue. Uh, factors, this one, some factors are listed in your lecture notes. Okay, you just find out from the lecture note, add on a little bit of explanation. So question number two, uh, this one you have to take note. What is the issue for question number two now? Issue is solve the issue, which is shorten the development time of a programmer. So currently, the programmer takes longer than plan. Okay? Longer development time than schedule. So two main areas that might contribute to the issue first because of the requirement with the customer this one let me highlight so first time required to finalize product requirement with the customer and then number two because of the requirement of which change Hence, you have identified four metrics. So now here, very good, eh? listed out everything to you. Four metrics in measuring these two areas. So the two areas has been uh, underlined with red. So which are time taken. Okay, this one. Uh time taken for communication with customer, numbers of communication with customer and pages of requirement documents. On the other hand, you also found that the top management not agree, no support. Yeah, not supportive from top management. Try to think about why. Why top management not agree and not support with your plan? Yeah, think about it. After that, seeing that the 
seeing that the management is not supportive, some the colleague also less cooperative. Since no so uh, not supportive from top management, so some of the colleague might think that what you are doing is uh, illegal. Not supportive, they might also not cooperate with you. They don't give you sincere feedback. They don't provide you feedback. So no cooperation the time that you are collecting data for process analysis. Construct goal questions metric paradigm to illustrate the process improvement. The goal here is shorten the development time. Yeah, this is the goal already mentioned here. So what you need to do, prepare two questions. Prepare two questions that used to access the given goal. Now the goal is shorten the development time. So each question provide two examples. Okay, I repeat, here you have a two questions. So for each question, provide two appropriate metrics. Yeah, mentioned here. Provide two appropriate metrics for each question you have listed. Some of the answer already in here. You try to understand the content. List out the goal already here. What are the appropriate questions? Yeah, what are the questions that you can ask uh, based on the story based on the case above. The metrics also here already did mention four metrics. So take it as reference, list it down. I wish everybody put in the answer in the Google document here. So I prepare each one of you a document. Hey, everybody. Yeah, Ivan already placed in, well done. So everybody has a document. So place in the answer. I give you some time to do so. Some of you haven't uh, started yet. No worry, I give you time. We have plenty of time today. <clears throat> uh, how long you need? Two questions. Right, good afternoon, Russell. Yes, torture uh, if uh, this one current on off we will lose our patient how long you need Wong three fifteen Ken no problem Ken I will class today until four thirty yeah, I reserve the first, uh, first hour for tutorial. Second hour, we, uh, before we, um, I'll speak you in a breakout room later. Eh? I need, I know some, some of you need, uh, discussion with me about assignment. So later on, after the break, I'll speak you in a breakout room. So we have only two activities today. Two question tutorial and the assignment progress. So 3.15. Roughly about 3.15 to 3.20. I will look at the progress. Yeah, I will look at the progress here. So we need to settle the tutorial by uh, around 3.30. So I need about 10 minutes or 15 minutes to discuss. So roughly around this time. Yeah, Please place in your answer there. Type in here tutorial six question one and two. Please solve two questions. Eh? Don't leave it blank. Uh, don't leave it blank. We will this Solution. Uh, 
All right, I'll get back to you around this time.
I saw some of you still typing. Five minutes, yeah? Please uh, wrap up your answer. We will start our discussion in five minutes' time. All right, let's start our discussion. Everybody here? Oh, yeah. mm, everyone with your little hand here. <laughs> Thank you, Erwin. I saw your hand. Thank you, uh, Kevin also. Well, I assume everybody here, Russell here, Celine here, Ivan here, everyone here. All right, thank you so much. Now, question number one. 
factor should be considered when carrying out improvement, yeah, process improvement. So we have a list of uh, factors yesterday. If you all still remember about the uh, company size, where is that already? Eh? Which slide? We have a list here. So you take it as a reference, but the explanation is on you. Shall be here. Small detail software develop. Local. Ah, this one. So there are, you can take this as a reference. So different uh, factors involved in a software process in improvement. So it depends on the company size, whether small or which department that need improvement staff uh, background and also have to look at the skills are they a uh, lack of uh, experience are they a new staff what type of software being developed customer market requirement local environment company culture all this can be your answer but with your explanation so let's look at your answer here how you all did the explanation or justification. This is a uh, quality attributes. Yeah, read the question carefully. Two factors should be considered when carrying out the... Now the question asks a software... Pro, sorry. <clears throat> okay, they're asking software process improvement. So they are now asked about the, the quality, eh? quality plan attributes. But anyway, I still have to look at your... Justification, who knows you have something, some marks can be earned here. So now you're talking the, what's the attribute of the system? Eh? So this one, no, eh? not, not here. Avoid. No, the answer are uh, not this, not this. So what should we, what should we consider? What should we concern when we want to do? Means the software already there. But when we would like to improve the software process, what shall we concern here? We we have to concern about. If we want to uh, improve the current uh, process, will it be affect the whole organization, whole business, or certain department? Yeah, they, we, they are not asked for attribute. So this one, not, not okay. The answer have to change. Huh? Mm, standardization, the company may define process standard that should be implemented into the system that can be provide conformance. Okay, this part, all right. Yeah, provide conformance to the customer. So here is talking about the customer requirement. Need to understand their requirement. Maybe perhaps at the beginning of the status, huh, the the it did mention a little bit in a question number number question number two yeah at the beginning of the session eh, the requirement is not clear so now you need to define the standard again or what conformant yeah this is a word that you can use how about this one 
quick mm. delivery decision can improve okay how can we improve yeah even though you see uh, even though this even though the attribute is highlighted but the explanation we still have to look at how he justified the answer we are not explaining the attribute but here are uh, discuss how to improve this attribute yeah, you need to explain how this uh, software process uh, improvement can be done system can improve the current productivity while reducing or preventing potential okay this part okay fast development and quick delivery of the development system can improve the productivity and service quality of the company while reducing preventing potential and current problem phase okay so here is your supporting point eh? maybe you can add up a little bit on uh, about this uh, rapidity you can uh, uh, add on a little bit on the uh, staff skills. Yeah, staff background, staff skill. Yeah, add on top up your explanation here. How about Celine? Let's look at your answer. before they result in the error should be reliable should be reliable to keep track so this explanation should be reliable so means now we are explaining the attribute of the system okay your justification here is uh, your explanation now you are supporting why the new system must be reliable you are not explaining how the system can be improved do you understand what i mean which can also lessen the mistakes so your explanation here is on uh, the system's quality yeah, the attribute character characteristic of the system system show has this so that yeah system shall be like this so that this can be done so you're explaining the system but now you have to add on your explanation how to improve it okay what the factors that you need to consider when you want to improve yeah improve the software process Okay, same goes to the rest. So I give you all some idea, yeah? Please refer. Please refer this slide. Consideration means uh, those factors that you can think about how to, yeah, software process improvement. Look at the question here. Yeah. yeah, I will not, uh, go one by one uh, already 3 30 unless if you have something similar to yeah if your explanation come from the slide you place in the chat box yeah i will check for you we go to uh, question number two here this is a case-based question so look at those uh, highlighted keywords two questions formulate Two question to access the given goal. So now our goal is shorten the development time. What are the questions that we can ask here? So you look at the one that we highlighted. First is about the time required, isn't it? Time required and also the, the communication eh, with the 
with the customers and then the other one is about time required means referring to communication with customer and then the other one is the changes of the requirement so we have one here and one here so one question come from here okay one question come from here you might ask uh okay the question you can we have a sample here but you need to relate it to the case huh? our sample question where to refer we have a slide uh, okay the goal is here so now the company is trying to what is the goal of the company the question number two the goal is shorten the development time yeah they want to shorten the development time so what question can they ask here other than these two other than these two of course we cannot take it here this is sample we have to refer to the case so we can ask number one maybe you can ask about okay time required to finalize product requirement with the customer so you might ask is the communication with the customer to to uh is the is is that the communication with the customer to obtain their feedback eh? is that sufficient most of the time because not sufficient uh, communication the way they ask the quite type of a question not accurate and the result the feedback also might not be clear and they use up more time yeah they use up more time to find out the accurate or the details of the requirement that's the reason uh. so you can ask is that the communication with the customer yeah the timer uh, from uh, programmers of point point of view yeah, from programmers uh, perspective is that the communication with customer when we're trying to obtain the feedback from customer is that enough sufficient communications the questions that we we prepare will it be accurate questions that's first so how about metric used to measure our questions so we already asked question based on the communication with customer then the metrics use you look at here oops so the metrics use we have a two area one this is the one first we can use a matrix time taken for communication with customers so this is we can measure something that we can measure is that the time allocated long enough that's first second we look at um, okay number of communication with customer numbers of communication with customer and also you can add on another one eh? what are the modes of communication this is frequency number of communication frequency how often we can uh, quantitative yeah we can scale up the result quantitatively metrics we use first time taken for communication with customer number of communication with customer or number of different modes of communication with the customer also acceptable okay it's relevant to this eh? number of communications or numbers of different modes of communication with customer so it can be categorized under the same point here both are acceptable so question number two yeah we have formulate the first question just now to access our goal so second question we can ask about they have two we have done this one just now yeah we have done this part so now we have to look at this requirement change 
Mm, here we might need to refer this part here. Yeah? Requirement change, documentation. So what question can we ask here? You might ask about, or maybe shall I refer some of your answers here? Take a look. Who knows you have a different idea, right? Mm. Okay, how to shorten uh, requirement communication. Well done, well done. Very good question here. Well done, Elvin. How to reduce? Oh, oh. Oh, no, no. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, hang on. So the goal here, let me adjust a little bit. Yeah, your answer. Shorten the development time of a programmer. Okay, better we you uh, how I put it in how. So our goal is okay, shorten the development times yeah, for the programmer. This one, yeah, of a programmer. So you put it here of a Programmer. Okay. So next one. Mm. Okay, next. So we'll look at the question again. It's about requirement communication gathering time. Okay, this is a good answer. How to reduce requirement change from the customer? Requirement change customer? How many questions? Oh, have, have to be like this, uh, Elwin. You need to have two questions. Okay, like this. You have to put your table like this a bit. Insert. I can insert here. One moment, yeah. Two question and then a two appropriate. So you do it this way. Hang on. Let me prepare my. So you might prepare. So first question, okay, you ask a question and then this is question number two. First question and then a matrix. Yeah, two matrices. Two appropriate matrices. Too small, isn't it? Sorry, sorry. Let me... Plug in my so for question number two, you do it like this. Uh, so question this is the goal, you can write out the goal. And then question one. Okay, write out what is a question. And then after that, you write out the matrix. Okay, list out your question. And then a matrix. So you have a matrix number one and matrix number two. After that, you need to ask the second question. 
Yeah, second question based on the gold here. Write it out, yo. What question? And then two metrics. Matrix number one, matrix number two, like this. Okay, Elwin. So now currently you are combining both together. Okay. Uh, mm. The matrix I do is uh, uh, the first matrix for the first question and then the second matrix for the first question. Second matrix for the first question. Hang on, uh, let me get back to it in I already. This is, uh, so these two metrics is for which question? Uh, the time taken for communication for the how to shorten requirement. And then the number of communication for the how to reduce requirement. Oh, so this matrix for the first one, isn't it? Ah, uh, yes. And then the second matrix for the second one. Then you you uh, split it huh? because we need two matrices, two matrix for one question. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, here. Two matrix for each question that you have listed. Mm. Read, read carefully. Or else you will lose your marks already. Half of it gone. But good try, eh? the question there is good. So if there's a K time taken, no problem. Eh? This one time taken is about this. If the requirement then would be numbers of... Uh, a eh? requirement or oh, this is for communication communication then you use time taken no problem so this one for requirement change requirement change would be if a requirement change then you have to refer to this pages of requirement document this is a matrix Okay, metrics for requirement change. First matrix is this one. Okay, pages of requirement document called documentation. Okay, this one. Just jot it down. Eh? If your question is relevant to requirement change, then this is, should be one of it. Metrics. And then the second one would be the time taken to change the requirement. Yeah, cannot be like here you talk about requirement change, but suddenly here your matrix use a communication. If communication, matrix use based on communication. If a requirement change, matrix use relevant to requirement change. Yeah, you have to be a flexible a little bit. Let's go for another answer. Okay, still preparing here. Okay, question number one. How to reduce number of communication? How to reduce number of communication? Isn't it how to reduce number of communication? Time required to finalize product requirement with the customer and requirement changes. 
this is a matrix uh, measurement user number of communication but not this one there's something wrong with the question how to reduce number of communication with customer no Yeah, is the communication with customers uh, sufficient or not? Because here the problem is the time a bit longer. Yeah, they took a bit longer time as what schedule? First, communication with customer. Maybe the quality of the question also would be the problem. Yeah, that's the, also the question that you can ask. Uh, is the question prepared? Yeah, is the question prepared? Let me rephrase. Uh, is the communication with customer to obtain their feedback? Questions asked, is that accurate enough? Is that sufficient to get the accurate feedback? Yeah, you rephrase it, make it a very nice a sentence there. If the metrics here, mm, <laughs> so fast, uh, clear already. How to reduce time taken, how to reduce time taken, average time taken, For communication, average time taken for communication with customer, okay, acceptable, yeah, is about uh, time taken, yeah. Okay, average time taken to communicate with the customer. And then the other one is a uh, number of communications. The frequency, how often do you meet up with customer? And then is that you, if you're using different modes, what's the number of different modes of communication? So how, I think frequency will be more accurate here. Okay, take your time here. Mm. How to prevent requirement change from how to prevent requirement changes from shortening development? Sounds like not um, how to prevent requirement changes. How to prevent lessen the impact <laughs> here is about time required eh? not to prevent uh, prevent means reduce time take this uh, as reference time required so questions that metrics that you can use when uh, requirement changes. Yeah, let me clear up my area first. So now second question that we can ask, what metrics here about requirement change? This one. Yeah, this is a matrix use. And also, they have another keyword time taken. But not for communication. Eh? Communication already being answered uh, from the first question. Now we are doing the second 
here we are formulating the second questions. So second question you can ask. Yeah, you may ask. Um, are the requirement changes? Uh, what's the word we use? Eh? Is that are the requirement changes documented? Documented. Let's add one more word behind. Are requirement changes documented? If the metrics we use is pages of requirement documentation. Yes, we can support with this one. Yeah, we can support with our metrics here. This one, number one. And the second metrics that we can use is time taken. To change the requirement. Yeah, time taken to change the requirement as a second matrix. And the first metric would be pages of requirement documentations. So now we have we have uh, formulated two questions and also two relevant software metrics. Okay, please arrange your answer accordingly. Eh? Please digest and arrange accordingly. Okay, lessen the impact. Okay, this one is yeah, acceptable. Rather than avoid, eh? we are not going to avoid. Lessen the impact. The impact. Eh? Reduce the impact. Oh, can the impact change the different time? The number of formal community between client and this one should be about the communication. Yeah, the first metrics that we use here should more relevant to your first question. Now you have like this. Let me make it two different paragraph. Okay, make it two different paragraph. So this is okay. Question one, like this. And matrices. So you have two matrices. And this one will be your question number two. So you're formulating question two, and then this is a matrix. So this is about communication uh, with customer. Yeah, This is about the requirement change. So this matrix is more suitable to number of formal communication between for each requirement change. Communication more relevant, more suitable to be placed under here. Okay, Kelvin. This one, all right, this one, correct. Do you have a question on this part A? If no, then we go to part B already, yeah, four o'clock. You have decided to carry out the process. Identify two problem, two difficulty that you might face. Here already listed, yeah, two difficulty. First, not supportive from top management. Not here. Oops. Second, colleague. Yeah, not supportive from colleague. First one does not agree. They not not support. Second, colleague less cooperative. Identify and also explain. Yeah, identify and also explain. So for number one. So the first difficulty, so this is second difficulty. They are not support. Could be they resist to change. Yeah, you can use this word resist changes. They don't want to change. They don't support because they don't want to change. Yeah, they don't want to change. That's why they don't support. <laughs> They resist changes. 
what's the reason they receive changes? Of course, question we cannot write everything in. So you have to think about what's the reason, uh, why company, why top management doesn't want to change? What do you think? What's the reason why top management doesn't want to change? If you are top management, unknown risk, yes, correct. Cost, yes, correct. Both are correct. Unknown risk, correct, uh, your point. So uh, justify it. And then cost also the major issue. So how do we explain like uh, unknown risk? Usually, top management receives to change because top management, they want something like uh, they don't want to take the risk. If you change, we have, they have to face uncertainty. Yeah, what the reason due to this one are non risk after the process change. And non risk at the same time also might involve more costs. Yeah, are non risks at the same time which might incur more costs. This is the reason why top management resists to change. They might prefer, if that's the case, they might prefer the current situation where even though the current process is inefficient, but they are still prefer it rather than taking the risk. Okay. The second difficulties come from the colleague. Why colleague resists to change? What do you think? Top management resists to change. Then why colleague doesn't want to change? <laughs> you uh, try to imagine now you are you are the boss. Uh, you 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 are not supportive, and then your your workers. Your employees also doesn't want to want to follow. Why? Eh? What's the reason? Can you think of one? Colleague not willing to learn new things just to adapt. More work to do. More work to do. Uh, if you manage to Elaborate what are the more works. They're a bit subjective. Huh? What kind of work more work? Not willing to new learn thing. Mm. New learn thing or they need to concern scared to get involved. <laughs> scared to do more work. Huh? That's what you mean. Huh? When you involve means you have to do more work. May you have to restart from a sketch. So colleague resists to change first, of course, due to the reaction from the top management. If not supportive from top management, they also uh, might think that there's a discretion of top management. Then they should not against, uh, against the, uh, the, the words from top management. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, top management not supposed to support it mean could it be top uh top management will not simply if there is a good good I mean a good project if they support then sure no doubts you as a if your superior support for sure you will also support if they don't support must be some reason behind where you don't know then you just follow them if you don't follow then you will feel that oh go against the top management. Yeah, this could be the reason. And also some uh, colleagues might feel that uh, or might think that the new processes, new processes, something unknown. They not really know what will going to happen. Not taking the risk if they want to improve the process. Yeah, full with uncertainty. They might also feel that with the new processes might give them less discretion. 
and might not recognize uh, their skills or their experience, the works that they have done before. Organization politics, ah, huh? I know lah. We don't include this one. <laughs> and that's my explanation to you. Yeah, they might feel that first. They might feel like against the top management, and then they might think that the new process. They 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 will think that the when uh, uh when the process change. It might not recognize. It means that does not. The organization does not recognize <clears throat> the value, or the efforts, of the experience or the skills or the work that they done before. They don't. They reject. They don't want to to have any improvement. Right. Try to use your own words huh, to express your answer. If you have other answer, you place it into your document. So we stop at the question number two. Yeah, you see, uh, even the one or two question, we can take a lot of time uh, to discuss. Now I, uh, you may take a short break. You may take a short break. I will split you in the breakout room. For the tea. I'll spread you in the breakout room. I will join your group after 15 minutes. I believe you all need to update each other. Yeah, among the team member. Yeah, about the assignment. If you have no question, then uh, you might you will stay in the group. Who knows, right? You have to talk with your discuss with your member first whether they have any difficulty. So please uh, utilize the time. I know sometimes you're quite busy, very hard to meet each other. Yeah. Top management does agree with my finding and thus will not support my software improvement process effort financially. Lack of uh, financial resources to have quality to difficulty. Yeah. This could be the cost huh? due to the cost. Yeah, this is for top management, right? This is from uh, difficulty of top management. Can cost? Yeah, this one is about financial. Yeah, top management always concern on cost, right? Cost in the schedule. Any effects to the current uh, processes? Let me arrange a group here. Yes. Uh, miss, I asked some questions that other groups may want to know also. Uh, so. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, about the reference. Uh, let's say mm. I. Uh, uh, we, we are supposed to put in the references that we have referenced, for example, research papers like that, right? But let's say like, uh, mm. if I refer to a communication plan, do I need to put that um, reference as well? Communication plan? Yeah. It's not being referenced, but I did. Uh, we did refer to it. Like, communication uh, plan? Yes. Yes, you, you mean the, the, like the template, right? The yeah, table. Other, yeah, like table, templates, uh, other works, examples like that. Yes, yes, put it in. Okay, so the costing as well, like uh, the average costing that we gathered. Yes, where's, where the resources you get from, yeah, place in too. Okay, uh, mm. about the appendix, uh, Mm -hmm. we need, do we need to put in the uh, Microsoft project screenshots? Just like our presentation that day. Presentation, that one you put it in. If you have, uh, is look at your table of content. Uh, hang on. If. Okay, how many chapters you have in your table of content? 
uh, for our group currently, we have 11 chapters, including the individual ones, the quality plan and result. Okay. If uh, any of your which chapter that you're explaining about this? I yeah, mean, that, uh, you have your, this part. Yep, the, 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 this one particular chapter. But I, then you place it in. Place it here. Not at the appendix. Uh, put it in here. You are. You only have two, two. Oh, sorry, sorry. You are now asking the whole, whole gun chat, right? Yeah, yeah. The whole oh. gun chat screenshot. Uh, the whole thing. <laughs> The the whole gun chart you put it at the back, but the 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 graph, not the gun chart. The what is that? The costing the graph the other day in the presentation. Costing graph. The, the overview the, cost. The overview the resource cost. Resource listing. The, the overview. Uh, yeah, and the, and the overview that one you place it in here. If that is uh you did explain in your content, you put it inside here. But if say like. Uh, I have like separate chapters, one for the project plan and the other one for the project controls. So if I put at the project controls uh, for the costing, then may I put the resource, resource overview at the appendix? I have mentioned like, uh, I mentioned like, uh, please refer to chapter, uh, let's say chapter nine for uh, costing like that, uh, because I haven't mm -hmm. talked about okay. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can refer, can no problem, no need double. One right. time enough. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh how many groups? Uh? How many groups need breakout? I think maybe some of you know need. Maybe Ian's group, Ian group no uh need breakout room or not? Um sure, sure. Okay, no worries, no yeah. need. So we have, I'm searching my name list. If you, if you don't need breakout room, then I will not put you in a room. How many are five groups, isn't it? Who is my list? Five, four. So the dark. Clear. Here, Ian, Selin, what's your surname? Ah? Selin, I always need breakout, but not necessarily need the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, understood. Yeah, you need uh, with your team member. Yeah, you need time, private time with your team member. Chin <laughs> Chiu Ting and also Ivan. Okay, and then after that, Nathan, Jeremiah, also Wong Yat Hao. The other group is uh, Elwin. Elwin with uh, Lim and Russell. Another one is uh, Wong, Sha, Daniel in already. Daniel not in, so no need Daniel. Okay, so Noel just stay in the main hall here. So after I break you in the room, uh, maybe five to ten minutes time, you will discuss first. If you are ready to ask, you might raise your hand. Or else, if I'm not in yet, you please wait patiently. Maybe I'm with another group. Yeah, please make your question short. Yeah, don't drag too much of time. 4, 10, 4, 30. Uh, all right. One group, uh, about 10 minutes uh, maximum. Yeah, ask the important questions on here. Yeah? Don't ask me to check your report. Yeah, please, please, please.
Shark and Lim still here. Wait patiently. Wait for your turn, Shark and uh, uh, Lim. So, Kelvin and uh, Noel, how's the progress, both of you? Everything fine? Lim still here, haven't been assigned yet. Lim shall be with assigned to breakout room three, still waiting. Are you using handphone? Oh, okay, okay. Now everybody in a group. So both of you, how's the progress assignment? Everything fine? Uh, fine. Fine, eh? no question? For my part, no. Uh, how about Kelvin? So after you've done your part, let a uh, group member go through. Make sure no contradiction. Huh? Ah, yeah. If no question, then uh, both of you uh, may leave. If both of you know discussion between both of you, <laughs> then you can leave the, the mid-session. I will go and join the breakout room. Thank you, Miss. Mm. Welcome. Take care.